study about ball is just great. Now, the thing with a spiral is that the biggest mistake most players make when they kick a spiral is that they try and create spin. And that gets, a lot, gets us in a lot of trouble. The first thing they do when they create spin, they put the ball at 45, and then their kicking leg gets across the ball. So, creating the ball at 45 and kicking across the ball, you're asking for trouble. The first thing is, if you do nail it, the ball only spins one way, so we get one big swing to spin on it. But the biggest problem we get is that it's off the side of the outside of the foot and the ball spins away from it. The challenge when we do a spiral is that we put the ball at about 30 degrees and we let the spin take care of itself. We kick straight through the ball. Now if we do that, the ball still fits on the same part of our foot as it does at 45 and kicks across. Here, we kick straight through the same part of our foot that the ball needs to be held now straighter on. Once the ball is held in that 30 degree, around about 30 degree angle, we end up with a nice spiral kick and we're looking for the ball that is swinging two ways through the air. We're looking for it to swing out on itself and come back on itself. So if you had a straight line there, you'd see like a snake effect across the straight line. That's our spiral.